ICT 2025 round 3 aspirants. So, you know the option entry for round 3 has already started and now you can add new colleges which is very very good thing. You can delete your options and you can also rearrange your option entry. So, in this video I am going to give you a live demo how can you do all these things. So, let us get started. So, first of all uh, yes. So, first of all I will be telling you how to delete any option, how to rearrange your options, then how to add new options and lastly how to download the option entry. Okay. So, first coming to whichever process you are doing, the first thing is you have to log in, right. So, you have to go to the KEA official website admission sections UGCT 2025, there you can find this one that is uh, UGCT 2025 third round option entry link. So, just click on this link and then you will get this page where you have to log in. Okay. So, first of all, you can log in with uh, scanning your photo or using CT number. After that, you will get a OTP. So, just uh, type your OTP, verify the OTP. After that, there will be a face uh, scan or uh, recap or uh, capturing of photo uh, is there. So, complete that process and finally, you will be able to log in where you will be in this page. Okay. So, here you can see that uh, here you can click on payment details also and check the last payment details that you have done and you can see candidate option entry. So, option entry will close on 8th of September 2.30 pm that is also given to you. So, yes, now after clicking on this link candidates option entry, you will get a uh, agreement uh, conditional okay that you are ready you are agreeing to participate in the third round so terms and conditions you just read it once and then click on this check button and click on i agree button okay after this is done you are in this page okay now here you can see your option entry that you have entered in round two okay so that option entry is visible here now i'll tell you how to delete options before that let me tell you why is it important to delete options so remember in round three after the seat is allotted there is no option for making choices whatever seat is allotted to you you have to take admission in that right so now the thing is if you have added any colleges here where you are not interested to join then what will happen if that college is added to you if that college is allotted to you then you have to join it at any condition right even if you are not interested other than other if you do not do there will be some legal actions fees penalties are there okay about which also i'll make a video so that is important here to understand why you should delete options at this point of time make sure that only those options are present where you are genuinely interested to take admission in okay so now let me tell you how to delete we have already done this before you just simply have to go this whichever college you want to delete just erase that number and put a 0 and then click on update and the option will be deleted. So, let me just show you. So, for example, uh, this college that is E107 I want to delete. Okay, So, once I click on this, a pad will open here, a number pad will open here. So, what you have to do then, you just have to put 0 here. Okay, Just type 0 here and after that, once you have done entered 0, click on update button. Okay, Once you click on update button, what will happen? Yes, once you click on this update button, that option will get deleted. Okay, that is the very simple one. Now, let us move to how to rearrange the options. So, this I want to give you a demo. I will do, I will play a video here so that you can uh, check this how to uh, uh, rearrange. So, basically, what you have to do, suppose this is a fourth college. Okay, I want to make it fifth one, and the fourth one I want to make it. Uh, so, this is fourth one. I want to convert this to fifth, and the fifth one I want to make it four. So, what you have to do, you have to come here press uh, here you want to make it 5 and go to the fifth one and make their 4 uh, using this number pad and then click on update button. Let us see now how to rearrange the options. Okay, So, rearranging means you want to uh, change the order of the options. So, for example, this is the fourth option I have. I want to make it 5 and the fifth one I want to make it 4. So, what you have to do go simply go here click on it then a number pad will open I want to make this fourth option as fifth so type here fifth and then go to the fifth option again click there you will get a number pad and click on and type four there okay so I'll give you a demo for this one you can see here uh, just a minute uh, one second yeah okay so let me give you a demo for this how you can change the option entry you can see this is the fourth one right you have to type five there so that it becomes fifth option and the fifth one you have to 
again click on there and then type 4 and then just scroll down and click on update button okay once you click on the update button what will happen automatically the option entry you can see options updated it will be now updated the fourth one will go to the fifth one the fifth one will come to fourth one okay so that is there now let us see the next one which is very important how to add new options okay so this part is already the option entry that you had already done but this part will be blank okay so here there is a column select discipline so click on this whichever discipline colleges you want to add for example engineering so click on engineering here once you click on engineering okay then there will be a option to select course wise or college wise we know how you have done in the first round so if you select course wise all the courses will be visible to you you can select whichever courses you want to add so for example i want computer science i'll click type here computer science and then select computer science here now what will happen now you can see the computer science all the options are given to me visible to me so wherever you want to add so for example you wanted to add in the fifth position or sixth position or in the number one position okay so just type the number that you in whichever uh, number you want to add the new option just click on that and then click on update button it will be updated automatically okay so you can see here so yes just a minute okay so now you can see once you have selected this CS option, all the CS options are visible to you, right? So what you can do is uh, you can also do it college wise. Okay. So if you want to, for example, you want this Vidya Vardhaka College of Engineering. So you can select college also and then all the courses of this colleges are visible to you. And then what you can do is, so for example, computer science in uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, I want to add it. So you have to just type 1 in front of this particular option once you click 1 here then just click save and submit button okay so remember Vidya Vardhaka artificial intelligence and machine learning click 1 and save and submit then click on update button okay so once you do this once you do save and submit automatically one will come here okay then you can see that in your option entry Vidya Vardhaka College of Engineering Mysuru artificial intelligence and machine learning is now present in number 1 option okay so that is how you can do this and finally what you have to do finally you have to download your option entry so if you scroll down you can see download option entry list once you click on this you can find this all so again click on download option entry report so once you click on this your option entry will finally be downloaded and it can it will look like this and you can see the first college the new college that you have entered is already added in your option entry list okay so that is how you can uh, delete the options please remember deleting is very important if you don't want to get into that particular college so delete the option entry rearrange your options check it properly and you can also add new colleges if you still have any doubt please put down in the comment section i'll definitely address to it thank you for watching and all the best